Hello everyone, Sarza J here, and it's time to tip the scales with another game of Age of Empires 3, Wars of Liberty. Woo! Alright, so Act 3 of the campaign. So far, Amelia Black's Railway Company is um, looking for new, is looking to, for more money. More money, more problems, or whatever. She um, finds, a, she, she gets lured by a French prospector in order to, um, in order to get some gold. But turns out he was working for the Circle of Ossus, who was looking for the Fountain of Youth. Dun dun dun! Major Cooper is killed in the process as they go and find the Spanish gold. And now and then, turns out the Fountain of Youth, some of the Fountains of Youth water have been taken by some Inca back to the Andes Mountain Range. And now, Amelia Black Railway Company single-handedly won the Revolutionary War, from, Revolutionary War under under Bolivar. And now we're going to this one. <laughs> I might have to save and reload a couple of times. This one has a very finicky uh, secondary objective. You'll see. There's a pass up ahead. See it? Are you sure this is the trail? Does it matter? The Bone Guard army is behind us. We're going forward. All right. So apparently, apparently, we have Russian troops all of a sudden. So what happens here is um this cold is worse than I hoped. We won't last long out in the open. Your troops will lose hit points as the as it keeps as stuff keeps going on. They'll rapidly we lose can hit take points. In that cave. Until you find caves and stuff where they can take shelter. I'm just gonna save the game here. I'm gonna save it as uh Blarg. Because you know why not? Alright, I'm gonna move, I'm gonna put everything here. We can't stay here for long if we want to stay ahead yeah. of the enemy. Game. When they enter a cave, they get healed up. Okay, so what's going to happen up ahead is um the enemy's going to be sending scout runners. Stop that scout! If you reach the Guard army, they'll be able to move forward. And sometimes you have to. Sometimes you have to um like everyone's going to get badly damaged as you try and kill scouts along the way. They'll keep on spawning. So you got to take shelter. You got to have like use special abilities to kill them. So like for example, we'd be fighting wolves here, then bashing people, bashing their skulls in, and then bam. Yeah, then you got to kill scouts on the way. Then you have shortcuts so you have to deal with. So you got to go into that shortcut. It looks dangerous, but it could save us some time. So you have to do that. Yep. Everyone heals up. I'm Amelia, get out there. Okay, everyone healed up, go. Uh, you're all group one. There we go. Yes, you have to go use the, you have to use the shortcut. A little bit dangerous, but... It's better than being out in the cold and risking letting these scouts escape. I'm pretty sure on high difficulties, on high difficulties, there'll be probably a lot more uh, wolves and stuff. So we're gonna have to make a tactical choice or something. Everyone, take cover. Take cover. Heal up. All right, and move out. Move out. We're wait we're burning daylight here. Then again, you can get more. Everyone, get back, get back into cover. If you can, okay, you're gonna grab the uh, muskets. Then move on ahead. Yes, I'm going. I'll do it. Those ruins will give us some cover from the storm. Yeah, go ahead. Blam. Yeah, so group one, like everyone, will go here. Right, I'm ready. Amelia, also take cover. Yeah, so rang range attack has now been increased. As you can notice, the Bone Guard army is right behind you. That's so why it's important to make sure that everyone stays together and all the, sc and the scouts don't get anywhere near. If you want that, if you want that secret objective, if you want that hidden, ob if you want that bonus objective experience, which I do. It's like the mechanicalism upgrade. 
Which is much as the mercantilism upgrade would. Okay, go, go, go. Okay, go in there. Take cover. Another shelter. Get inside before we freeze to death. Now, funnily enough, these are not actually like these are, just, these are not caves. These are just cliffs. So, just, so it can be rather funny though, and just how these cliff sides can protect you from the cold, and it, yet you can shoot outside them. You can you can spot the enemy from within. You can shoot them. Kill this guy first. Kill that guy. Then kill the jaguars. The rest of you take cover. So no, the rest of you go take cover in there. What can I do? I'm going now. Right. Boom. I'll do it. Uh, can you key? Una hot Your ability's charged. Good. What can I'm going now? Now, well, well, soldiers only heal when they're actually standing still. Otherwise, they'll uh, actually. Otherwise, if they if they fire while shooting while if, if they, even if they stand next to the fire and they open fire, they'll start taking hit point damage. It's only when they are not not shooting and when they're actually idle. So everyone's hit points have been boosted slightly. Yes, everyone's hit points have been boosted slightly by the um bone guard armor. They're protecting from the cold. The army will automatically advance anyway, regardless of how many scouts you kill. The army's progress is uh, mostly progression based. Yes. Progression based. I think, our shel I think the shelter is down here. But yes, you can guys can make it. Yeah, you guys will make it. Come on. There's a cave up ahead. We can recover in there. I'm ready. It's actually about yes. this point. I'm like, I'm like, that's it. You too. All right. And here comes here comes the important part. Red, yes. What's going to happen is you got this. Boom. Go. Okay, group one, stay back and cover. Down here we have a medicine man. It's probably important to have the medicine man. Medicine man! Commandment. Yeah. Avance. Yeah, you kind of want to have a bit of scouting going on around here. Yes. Because the enemy will send in more cavalry. See? More cavalry. Yes. And then of course there's our uh, stuff over yes. here. I'm going now. Stuff over here you want to grab like the eye of one loo. Right, hold position. Now you gotta be close to the fire, I guess. Okay, Canyon K, get it get in the get in the cover. Red man I saw. Command Yes. I'll do it. Amelia, take cover there. Crap, crap, crap. I'm Okay, you got him. Good. That was a close one. That could that could have ended that could have ended badly. Right, just go kill that guy. Yes. We'll deal with the um. We'll deal with any uh, foes up ahead. Yeah, that could have ended badly. 
very badly. Ready. Alright. Grab the treasure there. Yes. Lie on. Ready. Yes. Yes. Okay, you got the medicine man? Good. Alright, you're healed. Get up there. Come on, you wish. Yes. Yes. Grab the eyeball on Lou. You two move up there. And I'm gonna save the game here just in case. Blog, of course. Just blog. Order of the blog. The blog society, the secret blog society. Boom. I'm going. I'll attack. I'm going now. Aha! I thought you thought you could just double up, huh? Too bad. You can't double up around me. I'm ready. All right. So the medicine man might make things last long. Might make your uh, troops last longer. Out in the cold. Still, the um, stronghold, the shelters are rather frequent. Come on, the wall. Yes. So, group one, move in. Amen. Yes. Amen. I saw. Una hot in the end. Your group two. Ready. So, group he one. Think group yes. one. Group two, move in. Yes. He wall. Think shelter is very, very frequent. Don't know why you really need the medicine man that much. But the options there, I guess. Yes. Going, everyone. He wall. He man us all. Lie on. He wall. All right. Yes. 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 He wall. Now we've got another um eye on Lou. Yes. He man us all. Okay, group two, deal with that one. Yes. Oh, shoot him. Boom. Nice work. Oh, we can deal with that. But guys, guys, stay in cover. Amelia, go grab that. Now deal with it. Ooh. That was a close one. Don't want to do that again. Oh, medicine man. Medicine man can actually heal himself. Come on, yes. He wall. He wall. Boom. Let's go, go, go. Group two, group one, move up. Group two, just keep moving forward. That, group two. Stay there, medicine man. Ready. Come a bounce. Yes, he was. And there's our, there's our objective right over there. Curry Winthrop. I'm going now. Bam. So we have to go. Right over there. Just right there. And you're done. Not a single scout got through. We've made it to the valley. Hooray! Hooray! Just like that. You win. Ewis. <laughs> Next. And of course, you can choose your cards or customize your city, but let's go. Wow, look at that guy. <laughs> yep, the army's right behind us. The Inca still live. Wow! This place, is it real? Hold your fire. My name is Amelia Black. Hi, I, I speak English! <laughs> you are the descendant of the knight who saved my people long ago. This battle was years in the making. <laughs> what battle? Look there. Yeah. The circle comes for the water. Yeah. The water is not important. My people must come first. Help us defend the last city of the Inca, Amelia Black. Okay. Let's do it. 
Yeah. <laughs> you got to defend the last city of the Inca. Eh, it shouldn't be that hard, right? I mean, it is just the Inca. <laughs> so here's how it works. You liberate a whole bunch of stuff, I guess. We've got to strengthen the defenses of this Inca city however we can. Well, first of all... No one will be able to build an artillery foundry in these high mountains, but the Inca tell us they know a way a cannon can be hauled here from the coast. Well, first of all, everyone goes up up north. Uh, yeah, build that. We're gonna have the heavy cannon move along. Inca outpost. Wait, it's used to... Use to defend the frontier. You can shoot stuff from here. The idea is you gotta bring your uh, cannon. You gotta bring the cannon. You gotta bring the cannon from up here down to here. And then once you gather enough, you have to destroy the town center. There's also a secondary town you can destroy. Apparently, they, apparently the work of the Russians. Yes. Ready. How do they work for the Russians? And... These guys will just... These Cossacks will just appear out of nowhere. Well, let's get a fortress built. Our cannon are on the way. You have to hold out until they reach us. Shoot him! Boom! Oh no. I think we might have angered them. Boom! Bloody Cossacks! You Cossacks! Okay, kill those guys! Oh crap, oh crap, kill the cannon! Kill the cannon! Kill those guys. Now kill that guy. Then move that cannon, destroy that outpost. What else we got? What else we need? Let's build, a fort let's build the fortress there. Okay, let's age up to this one. Get some more villagers out here. And there we go. Outpost destroyed. Start shooting. Oh, okay, there's another outpost I have to destroy. Once everything gets all smoky. All right, everyone. That's a blockhouse there. It's an outpost. Blockhouses can shoot things and shoot stuff. Oh, llamas. Mm-hmm. Got rats. How's it going? Oh, here we go. Fortress is up. Well, fortress is up, and what to build out of it? Well, of course, let's wait till I reach the capital age, and then I'll figure it out. Leon! 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 Nice. Right, the footmen have done stuff. Now go grab, go, go get some wood. See? And now, can I build a mark? Yes, I can build a market in there, but I'm not going to. Okay, destroy that town centre. My cannon will deal with the blockhouse down there. Dr. Amelia. Go build a trading outpost. Oh, 
Boom. Uh, right. Build a temple. Why haven't you built? Why haven't you done that? Okay. Actually, no, we're gonna get some Congreve rockets. Oh, we go. Got a falcon net. Bring the falcon net over. Everyone, shoot the town center. Ready? Yes. Amen. Yes. Shoot that. Yes. He won. Amen. I saw. Come on, you guys. You can do it. You can make it. Oh, I, I can build a factory. So yeah, let's go with no state religion. It's gonna go with something, go with atheism. <laughs> You're nearly there, guys. Move back. Move back into play. So through the Russian town centre. Hmm. Ooh, okay. Alright. Train soldiers faster. Yes, I don't know how ink and roads make your soldiers move faster. I mean, ink is probably ink probably has some good roads and stuff, but I don't really see how that make how that in general would make your regular roads faster. Who knows? Well, add more cannons to the mix. Make make things more cannon, more cannon. Let's do the home city shipments. Our first Ready. cannon have reached the inner city. We've got to protect them as we fight our way forward. Oh, don't worry, we can handle it. We can handle it. It's not like, like they're going to go anywhere. It's not like they can go anywhere. So Inca soldiers can go that way. Look at that resources. Go gather those resources. So that's about six cannon, we need eight. So let's bring some mortars. Let's bring up the mortars instead. Alright, what else we got? What else have we got around here? Yeah, before we get open fired by outposts or something. Yeah, wipe him out. Oh, there's an outpost. Kill them. Shoot them. Oh, infantry moving faster. Now tear down that. Tear that down. All right, everyone, move. Move that howitzers. Remember, you, remember the laws of physics. You understand the laws of physics? You can you can go further. Wait, a trebuchet? <laughs> uh, can artillery can throw a 90 kilogram rock over 300 meters? Can your girlfriend do that? I don't know. Might you ask her? Ciao. Come here, Charlie. Si? Si? Is that a challenge? <laughs> okay, this I have to see. Yes. 
Do they essentially reuse the design from Age of Empires 2? I've got to know. Ooh, nice. All right, let's build, let's build a bunch of those. And sell that. Oh, and I also need to research mechanicalism. Forgot about that part. Trebuchets! Insert awesome description here. Insert awesome description here. Well, oh, come on. Commandment. Boom! So you have limited range, do you? Take your guns. Alright, and now to sell everything I have to get mercantilism. Okay, mercantilism is needed. Okay, trebuchets. Alright, come on, trebuchets. You're needed. So, yeah. Here's how it works. Howitzers, take that out. Still out of range. Go shoot things. Okay then, and unpack. Yes! Start throwing rocks. Got throw rocks at him. Forts are stupid. Throw rocks at him. Yay! <laughs> wow, that, that, level, that level went quicker than the last one. But yeah, there you go. Water from the fountain. Well, come on, do a better job than that. Your people fight well. This is not over yet. Beaumont escaped with several barrels of the water. We've got How? to stop him. The How circle do that? Block the eastern pass. You cannot follow. Now that they have the water, they will assemble in the ossuary. It is their stronghold near Havana. Really? Then we'll follow him there. <laughs> so, you believe in the legend of the fountain's water? I don't know what to believe, but what will the world be like if Beaumont lives forever? Eh, wouldn't be that dangerous. He's gonna have power, and he's just a fur trapper. Sure, he can amass wealth and treasures and all that other good stuff, but at the end of the day, what would a madman like him... What would happen if a madman like him lived forever? I don't think anything really would happen. Okay, so I can add, I can add crates and stuff. Oh, oops, alright, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, I could start right there, but I think that'll be it for this one. I've been Styles RJ, and, um, I don't know get the cutscene, though. Alright, here we go, choose new cards. What can I choose from? Pretty much nothing, actually. I mean, what else is there to do? What else is there to upgrade? Can't get cheaper manners because I don't build manners. Since fortifications. Free upgrade for my blockhouse and stuff would be great if I had them. If I had, out, if I had a level 25 home city. Yes, I could go to the advanced market. Then again, the last level is a water level. Don't forget to bring a towel. Why not bring a caravel? But anyway, that will be it for this one. I've been Styles RJ, and I'll be tipping the scales in the favor of Amelia Black and her, and her railway company in the next episode. 
Signing off.